In this video, we will learn how to use layer mask with physics ray casting so we could include or exclude objects that uh, we don't want to consider or we want to consider while doing the ray cast. So, in this example, I only want to be the, the green cube here to be considered when I'm doing ray casting. So, if I hover uh, on anything else, there is nothing, no result showing in the console. But once I hover on the green object, you could see we get uh, a feedback saying Ray is the way hit this game object. So we'll see that in a minute. So to start, I'll need to add a, a layout name to the object I want to be considered for the Ray casting. So I choose Cube 2. So going to the layers and uh, click the drop down and press Add Layer and select a layer number. Uh, I'll select the number six and add a name to it. So I'll just call it my layer for simplicity. And so that's done. We have number six and it's called my layer. So I'll select the game object again and at assign the new uh, layer to it, my layer. Then I'll just create script. So under assets, I'll create a new folder, call it scripts. And inside that folder, I'll create a C sharp file. We'll name it layer mask. And I'll create an empty game object to attach the script to it. I'll name it the same layer mask and then attach the script to the empty game object and click on script, make sure the script is there and double click on the script to open it in Visual Studio. In the Visual Studio, I have number of private variables. One is the layout number. And if you remember, we selected the layout number to be six in the slot number six. And we also have uh, uh, two private variables for the layer mask as integer and the ray cast hit variable. So then in the start method, we uh, we use the uh, bitwise left shift operator so that we could change uh, or represent the layer number uh, by a single bit in the 32-bit uh, integer uh, system. And so you just need to have the one and the left shift operator and then put the layer number you have here and then you will get the layer mask in the 32-bit. And then in the update, we uh, get the array uh, 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 variable of type array uh, using the screen point array. And then we check if uh, physics.raycast and we pass that array. And we have out raycast hit of type raycast hit. And the, the distance uh, of the array, we want it to infinity. And the layer mask here, we pass it, which is here, which represent the layer number six. So only if you hit that layer mask, which is that object we selected, then we'll have something to uh, indicate that we have the hit. So it's just a debug. So let's save and go back to the editor to test it out. So now if I click play and I'll display the console, and then if I or move the mouse on all other game objects, nothing will show. But if I move on that uh, cube that we assigned the layer mask to it, you will see that we get the hit result. That's it. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.